Yo, what up? It's Ehis, and you're still watching the MTV Base video search, and this is my journey. Seems long ago, but it started like yesterday to me because I remember like December 1st, 2012, the first day of the auditions. It was really hot. It was really good. I heard through my mom's actually. Yeah, mom's called me and she was like, yo, my son, have you watched the advert? Yo, blah, blah. I'm like, yo, mom, I'm trying to sleep. She's like, stand up. I'm telling you to stand up. Go and watch it. Go and watch it. I'm like, okay, yeah. Hi, mom. I'm on TV now. Thanks to you. <laughs> yo, I remember the day, yo. It was really, really long, yeah. And I remember the Phony guys, the phony, phony, phony guys. You guys should see this. Allah. This is your homeboy Claymore rapping MTV Bass as the new MTV B. MTV. MTV Bass, baby, we do it big. We keep it locked down. We're in the building, baby. Bruh! What's up, baby? Keep it locked down. MTV Bass, we're in the building. That's what's up. Yep. So I'm here again, and um, you know me auditioning, and uh, oh, uh, 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 I missed that. Well, this is your boy, Eddie, rude boy, signing out. Thank you. <laughs> that was really funny, right? Yeah, I remember those guys. That was really funny, but back to me, my auditions. Oh, I was nervous. Trust me, I was nervous. People had like butterflies. I had like dragonflies in my tummy, yeah. Moving all around. And I met Steve on the family. Then the filming crew, they had like picked me outside and like interviewed me and I was acting really cocky and confident. But trust me, I was shaking. And now I have to show you my audition clip, which is really embarrassing, but I have to show you. So this is my audition clip. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Ahis, aka Special Slim, the special one, get used to the face. And I'm the new MTV Bass VJ. You know MTV Bass, right? Yes, you do. The biggest music entertainment channel in Africa. As a how, come to L Day, every day is going down. You know what it is? Basically, this is the VJ Search auditioning in Nigeria. Like you, you can see the crowd outside, it's packed. Like people came in with their moms. But basically, someone should tell them, I got this. Like, I got this job. 
Like seriously, you can go home now. Like, hey, crew, can you tell them to go? Yeah, that, that's what it is. Back to the lecture at hand. Now we're gonna run down to the African Top Chat show. And it's gonna be done by my man, Swizz, all the way. Respect, peace. And he's gonna be giving you the 20 songs that rock in the continent, you know, from number one to number 20, or from 20 down to number one, you know. Swizz is gonna be doing that. And later, we're going back to the streets, bring the music to the streets with streets requests. Then, after that, it's all music, all day, every day. It's going down on only on MTV Bass. Yo, please don't show that again, please. <laughs> yo, I remember that clip, yo, and it was really good because I felt really funny at a point. You could tell from my face I was really tired because we had to wait and wait and wait. Yo, but it was really good. The crew, they really kept it calm with me and um, they asked me to come the next day. I wasn't expecting it though. I wasn't expecting it because there were so many people that I thought were really, really good, but they asked me to come the next day. And the next day, uh, it was the top 30. Yeah, it was the top 30 people. First time we had to meet the judges, Funke, Akindele, Banky W, the great tools, and the coolest ice, Mr. Tim Howard. Shout out to you guys, by the way. And um, from the show, you can tell that they had a lot of fun, right? You can tell. <laughs> Watch this. Welcome. Yo, what's up, Africa? It's your boy, Powella. What? <laughs> Powella, Powella, aka PZ, aka the Entry Base, Entry Base VJ with Nine Just Rag. Stop! You can go. Man, go, man. You, you pissing me off right now, man. You this is my easiest show. You know what? You know what, guy? No, just, you know, just, I don't know, man. I'm sorry. Let's go, West. Um, don't call me. West, don't call me. Yo, listen, man. Don't call me King West no more. Don't call me King West. I'm Kanye. Kanye. Yeah, man. And that's Kanye West. <laughs> oh my God, man. I'm gonna kill you right now. <laughs> and I'm going to give him an interview and see what's going to happen. And hello, the band. Good evening. And this is MTV Base. Yeah, 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 yeah. Move back, move back, move back. So I'm, guy, I'm guy, sorry. Guy. This is MTV Base uh, recording my live. Guy, my guy. You're and the talk to my face. Hey! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. At the at the 2013 BET Epo Award. Keep it together, relax, it together. It's breathe. To be continued. You know what? Let's move to task two. Whoa, Chris, Chris! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Chris, you're looking so fly tonight. You're looking so awesome. Okay. I, mean, I like your shoes. I like your shoes, Chris Brown. I said, don't do that. <laughs> okay, hello. Yeah. Could you introduce yourself properly? I know you've been. I'm talking. the man! I'm the man! <laughs> Don't stop me. Oh, I'm not stopping you. Where's oh, your jersey? That's jazzy. it for the band. Show me my car. Where's my car? Don't jersey. He's a really mad yeah. man. Don't mind him. He's too, he's too hyperactive or anything. Hello. Wow. Thank you very much. You can leave. Thank you. Bye. Oh. No, no, take it along. I forgot I came in with it. I'm sorry. Fine. Let's check out how a he's did in front of the judges. Do you speak any kind of English? E any type of English? You know? E e Tiny. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kabu Snow. Brook what is your MT or two year pian? The book of Ruth TV. A poor, eh, a papa. I like your hit single, but I'm not too bad. It's really good. Smashing hits. What do you think of it? Mm. Damn, though, you got a tough one. I mean, yeah. you got one of the hardest ones. I think you struggled at first, but I actually thought. Just going into asking him question, let him answer in Portuguese. Ask him the question, let him answer in Portuguese. Was a good route to go, because what else do you do? I thought you would just kill it. Like, I thought you would come out and murder it. I think the problem is you're too confident. I think that you should be calm it. down. That might be it. Okay, I I stop know. making faces. Just be composed and do it the right way. I think you, you have it in you. Please don't show that again. Like, seriously, please don't show that again. Yeah, judging from them, uh, it, I, I, I didn't have like a good comment that day. Like, they said I was too rude, I was too cocky. Funke was like, you keep making faces. Banky didn't say anything, he was trying to put me off. Yo, honestly, I thought I was going home, honestly. We waited for like five, four-ish hours, five, four-ish hours, yeah? On waiting, a, whole, a lot of tension. Yeah, you can cut the tension in the air, actually. Then they called us back, first 30, called everybody. Like, in my mind, I was like, yo, you're going home. You are going home. You are going home. But they called the top three, and they called Ada first, which is really cool for her. And they called Kemi. 
Shout out to Kimmy, by the way. And they called my name. <laughs> but was, I felt good, though, but I was really, really surprised. I, I thought I was going home. After the judges said those stuff about me, I thought I was going home, but I felt really good about myself. Like, I made it into the top three, and it was, it was fun, though. It was big, big time fun, big time. Bigger than life, actually. Bigger than life. We're going to take a quick break to pay the bills. Stay tuned to see more of Ahiza's journey to becoming the new face of MTV Base. Hi, right, welcome back, guys. It's your boy Ahiz, your MTV Base DJ Search winner. Yep, yep, yep. And this is my journey that I'm taking through this episode, like from the beginning to the end. Before the break, I told you about the top three announcement. Yeah, when me, Ada, and Kemi made it to the top three. Yeah. Speaking of Ada and Kemi, beautiful ladies. I love them. I love you both. Day three, the judges called us to the rooftop. Oh boy. <laughs> it was really scary. Like, why would they want us on the rooftop? This is the part where they called us to the rooftop. So, watch this. All right, guys, well, the heat now turns up. Today, we've got some challenges for you to perform. And two people, by the end of this episode, will be going home. Tonight, you're going to be hosting an event, MC on stage. So we need to see how you interact in front of people. But before we get into that, today, what you're about to do next is conduct a live interview on radio and TV simultaneously. You'll each be interviewing an A-list Nigerian artist. Kemi, you'll be interviewing David O, Ahiz, Ice Prince, and Ada, your celebrity is Burner Boy. The interview process is one of your most important jobs as a VJ. It's something that you'll have to do all the time. We're looking for one of you to stand out in this situation. Keep in mind that these artists have been interviewed a million times. So are you going to ask the same questions that they've heard a million times, or are you going to think outside the box and be creative? You have to remember you have to keep the artist comfortable, you have to engage the artist, bring out the best in them. Any one of you can have this job, so be friendly with each other, but don't share secrets. Be respectful, be confident, engage the artist, and give the best interview that you can possibly give. And one of you will win, so good luck. There you have it. Um, I got Ice Prince, Ada got Burner Boy, Kemi got David O. In the interview, we had to, he had to like bounce questions off me because he told him to make it difficult for me. Yeah, difficult. But it was good. I thought it was good. I don't know if he thought it was good. He was really cool about it because we asked, I asked him about some personal questions, which so many people haven't asked him. But he was like, yo, how did this guy know this? I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. So this is my interview with Ice Prince. Hey, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, talk to me, man. OK, so can you like tell us like when this whole rap thing started for you? For me, rap started around 99. I was not started messing around with it. And at that time, I was in secondary school. Okay. You know, I used to perform, you know, songs from Tupac, from Heavy D, from B.I.G. Used to mime those songs at like <laughs> social nights in school and stuff like that. Social nights? Yeah, that was that was how you know rap for me started. started were you like Were you like the social prefect in your school? No, 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 I wasn't. Matter of fact, <laughs> I was a games prefect. I had nothing games to do with, prefect. with So music. you play sport? Yeah, I play a little bit of sports. Soccer. Not soccer. Basketball. basketball a little bit of basketball, yeah. <laughs> I, but I stopped a long time ago. I'm not into that anymore. <laughs> yeah. At that point, that was what I was doing before I joined the choir my church and then music. I, I grew as a musician. Yeah? Okay, cool. So from when you entered the game and now, like the growth, what do you think of the business? Like how the growth um, has been? I would say, I would say thank God, first of all. It's been a blessing and I would say, um, I'm successful to a certain degree. You know, I've, I have awards in my house, plaques, awards, plaques of awards in my house. Award plaques in my house. <laughs> I have I have sold out concerts. You know what I mean. I've sold records. So I think yeah, I'm on my way to success. Multi-winning, multi-winning award artists, yeah. Ice Prince. So all the way from songs like High School. Yeah. yeah to I, the I, new. You know me very well. I, I'm a big fan. You big fan. Big well. fan. You big fan. Big love. One line from the song. Let me hear. One line, yeah, uh, one line something, something that says uh, some, I ain't gay, but you don't I'm know it. You don't know, you don't know it. You don't know <laughs> I know the song though. Okay. Songs from high school to songs yeah. like More yeah, 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 and yeah. Abuki. Yeah, then yeah. back to the album, ELI, yeah. Everybody Loves yeah, Ice Prince, yeah. which was really big. Can you really talk about the album a little um, bit? The album was a, you know, was a collection of different thought processes that I had at the moment when I was, you know, when I was recording. Okay. And I just lost my mom before I started recording the album, which was why 
I actually call the album Everybody Loves Ice Prince because when I lost my mom, I, you know, I had a lot of support from my colleagues and all that stuff. But yeah, the album is a collection of my different emotional sides. You know what I mean? Okay. And it's, 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 it's a bunch of different genres of music, different styles of music. There's rap in it, there's, there's dance hall in it, uh -huh. there's soul in it, you know. And I guess yeah, that's why you have to say, it's Icy Prince, that function guy. <laughs> I'm a function guy, all that's, D. That's what it is, that's <laughs> what it is. So how do you, like this, how do you deal with negativity from fans? How do you deal with how do you mean? people? When they say stuff about you, probably okay. because you're in the limelight, obviously people will yeah, talk. Yeah, so definitely. how do you like deal with the bad stuff that come out of people? Um, I'm, one of my, you know, I'm, I'm I'm in a school of thought that, you know, criticism brings out the beast, the fire in me most of the time. You know what I'm saying? So when I see when I see a bad comment, a negative comment, maybe on Twitter or on Facebook or wherever, it kinda like gingers me more. It brings out more fire, okay. you know, for me. So I I embrace it. Again, I embrace it, you know what I mean? Sometimes people can go very deep, shy. You just be like, ah, why this guy will go this far? Like, sometimes somebody tweet at me and say, your mama is not proud of you. All the stuff you be like, ah, guy, calm down now. You know, but yeah, still, like, it, it, it pushes me as an artist. That's just... Anyway, thank you, Ice Prince. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, that was me and Ice Prince. I actually look good in that video, yeah. He liked my hair. He was like, yo, I love your hair. And we had, like, a limo ride, yeah, me and the girls and the crew. It was really fun. My people in Lagos, we saw them like we went from the mainland to the island. It was really fun though, yeah. Then I went to the big Friday show with the girls and basket mouth. Yo, come from, come from. People like us, we watch big Friday show like every other week. You don't miss like one second. So to be on big Friday show, it was really, really fun. And shout out to the big Friday show crew. <laughs> Crazy people, big laughter. We had like fun all through. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to Basketball for having us. And it was really, really, really nice, yo. And after that, it was the finale. The grand finale. Yep, it was really good. We had to like wait a long day, but it was really good to get everything prepared. And we had to, like, our task for the day was to MC our celebrities to the stage, yep. Like you know, I had ice cream. So I came on stage, I had people rooting for me. Yo, Team Ahiz, Team Ahiz. Shout out to Team Ahiz, by the way. Team Ahiz, Team Dada Boy, Team Special Slim. I love everybody. I had to MC Ice, and it was really good. And the performance, trust me, dope. Aboki, sigh. Aboki, sigh. Yo, watch this. Ice Prince at the finale. <laughs> Aboki, Ice Prince, he killed it. Yo, and we had to like, they had to like call us back on stage and the judges had to like place their comments on our MC skills on the three of us. So they called us back on stage to announce the winner. Oh man, this part, like from December 1st to date, everything that we've worked on brought on to this moment. Remember when I said I had like dragonflies in my tummy? This time I had an elephant in my tummy. Yeah, but I had like a big smile on my face because I was trying to keep myself calm from being too nervous. My fingers were crossed as usual. Yo, and um, I don't really want to say too much, but you have to say this, like, 
take a look for yourself. Alrighty, man. It's just about that time for us to announce who the next MTV based VJ will be. But before we do that, I just want to say to all three of you guys, you guys were all absolutely amazing. I've enjoyed spending time with all of you as people and as presenters. Any one of you could work on bass. And I always say, if it is to be, it is up to me. So for those Absolutely. of you who don't take it, run with it, run with it, put on your back and run with it because you guys are all absolutely amazing. But unfortunately, this is the MTV Base VJ Search and only one can be the one. Only one. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the MTV Base VJ Search Nigeria is... And the winner is... There you have it. I just been announced as the new MTV based VJ for Nigeria. Yes, yes, yo. Yes, yes, yo. I made it. Okay, so I have like my own show. I have a 10 million hour contract and a brand new car. I should say that again, right? My own show, <laughs> a 10 million hour contract and a brand new car. Yes. So it's really, really unreal. Like I can't even believe myself. Like I made it this far. I made it. Yo, so it's going to be great. On MTV Base, you're gonna be seeing me on my own show. So please stay tuned. Peace. I love you, Nigeria. Thank you and bye.